How handy is it to have a clear overview of your tasks? Microsoft has two handy programs that we're going to discuss today. We will compare Planner and To Do. I will also tell you how they work well with Outlook, Teams, and with each other. Let's start with To Do. With To Do, you can decide to work on individual tasks or in shared lists. In To Do, you can directly add tasks, such as buy coffee beans or get sugar. You can give your list a name. For example, purchases. If someone has emailed you with a request to work on the coffee menu, you can also add this email as a task in To Do. Do you want to share a list? For example, the purchase list with your buyer, so he or she knows exactly what you need. You can do that by inviting the person in question to your list. Do you mostly work with the team? Then use Planner. In Planner, the work of your team or organization becomes visual with so-called buckets. You can filter and sort by date, priority, and other preferences. In Planner, you can add a start date and a due date for your tasks, so you can keep track of them. You can also work with Planner in Teams, along with Teams posts and files. To do in Planner can also be used together. The tasks you have in Planner can be displayed in To Do. You can easily consult both programs via your web browser, via the Tasks app in Teams, and in the mobile app. That way, you can stay informed on your tasks everywhere. Now, it's time for coffee. Grab a cup and try the applications out for yourself. Let us know how you use them. Good luck.